When it comes to high school and young girls um, being assaulted, very few girls, for obvious reasons, want to fight back, want to come be public about their name. So what, what is left is actually a very handful of cases um, at any given time where the girls are publicly out about it and, and either fighting back in a public way or have chosen to, for whatever reason, um, you know, make their names and their identities public. So I think at the time that we were researching it was seven, seven, seven girls around seven the country. cases that we, you know, could potentially, you know, include in, in the film. And at first it seemed maybe a kind of a restraint on the film to only have a couple of stories, but as we went, got further into the storytelling, it actually seemed kind of a gift. I'm John Shank. And I'm Bonnie Cohen. Together we directed Audrey and Daisy. Audrey and Daisy is the story of two high school girls who were sexually assaulted early on in their high school careers and then were subsequently cyberbullied online with photographs or videos uh, that made the crimes much harder to handle, made them public. The film really is looking at this kind of new pub public square of shame for girls. Um, in the wake of these sexual assaults that used to be much easier to cover up or keep private. They're now sort of playing out on this center stage of social media. And we often get the question, you know, why these two girls? And the fact is for us, Audrey and Daisy really are sort of a poetic telling and retelling of every girl's experience in these kinds of cases. And we really wanted to dive deep into personal stories which, and get access to families and real events that those families are going through and the trauma and also the subsequent healing which happens in both families. This is really raw stuff and it was difficult to get the people to go there in, in a lot of cases and um, the towns that are involved, they are not interested in by and large talking about these things because they're very awkward and they bring up a lot of emotion. So I hope that what will pay off for people is that they can kind of lose themselves in a, in a very intimate story that has very kind of delicate access and you don't see and hear about that often in such a personal way.